Roger Federer will be looking for his third Grand Slam title of 2009 when he takes the court of the U.S. Open next week. To no one's surprise, Tuesday, the Swiss Master was named the top seed for the event. Any discussion of a Grand Slam tournament has to begin with Roger Federer. Uh, he's won the last two, the French Open and Wimbledon, to take his career title total to 15 at major championships, breaking Pete Sampras' career record of 14. Federer is also trying for a sixth title in a row at the U.S. Open. That's something no one's done since Bill Tilden in the 1920s. Great Britain's Andy Murray is seated second behind Federer, with Rafael Nadal third. Nadal is back in the major after skipping Wimbledon to rest his sore knees. This year's Australian Open champ needs the U.S. Open title to complete a career Grand Slam. Novak Djokovic is seated fourth, with 2003 champion Andy Roddick rounding out the top five. The United States Tennis Association followed the ATP and WTA rankings, which means Dinara Safina tops the women's field ahead of defending champion Serena Williams. Dinara Safina is as good as it gets in women's tennis, except when it comes to Grand Slam finals. She's 0-3 in major championship matches. She's lost two of them this year. Uh, she looked pretty bad in the Wimbledon semifinals against Venus Williams, managing to win only one game renewing the debate over whether she really deserves to be ranked number one. Two-time winner Venus Williams is seated third and is followed by Elena Dementieva and Yelena Yankovic. 2006 champion Maria Sharapova continues her comeback from a shoulder injury. She's seated 29th. John Klobuchar, The Associated Press.